Do you constantly fear that you have a serious illness despite no evidence? This can be a sign of health anxiety. After watching this video, you'll have a clear understanding of what it is. I'm going to share five key signs with you to help you better understand this overwhelming condition. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button and the bell to get notified every time I post a video about overcoming anxiety. I've helped thousands of patients overcome their anxiety problems and now I'm here to help you. A crucial first step to overcoming health anxiety is understanding what it is and how it operates. So let's dive in. Number one, health anxiety is a mental health condition where someone experiences an extreme fear of having a serious illness. These fears have usually been present for about six months, but they can also come and go over many years. The fear can be about a physical illness, but also about serious mental illness. The types of diseases that people worry about really do vary, but they can often include heart problems, cancers, strokes, ALS or other neurological problems, kidney disease, sepsis, aneurysm, a brain eating amoeba, the list goes on. The important thing about these diseases really is that they can either kill you or cause chronic disability. Often when people worry about cancer, their fear about cancer might shift from, say, breast cancer to bowel cancer. Often the type of disease somebody with health anxiety is worried about can become less important. What's more important is the person's inability to feel safe and secure in their body. Along with this fear, you experience intrusive thoughts about death, dying, illness, disease or disability. Regardless of the type of disease, what they have in common is that they can either kill you or cause severe and chronic disability. You also experience intrusive images of illness, disease, death, images of being sick, maybe images of being in a hospital bed or images of yourself dying or declining as your health deteriorates. Of course, these images are super frightening for people and can often feed into the fear and continue to drive the anxiety. Number two, help seeking or help avoiding. My patients usually fall into one of two categories. The first one is help seeking type and the second one is help avoiding type. So the help seeking type will frequently seek medical reassurance, doctor's consultations, medical investigations and frequent testing. Often people have spent hundreds if not thousands on repeat testing. Maybe you relate to that. Usually people can't afford to spend all this money on these tests, but the grip of health anxiety is so strong that they find a way to pay for these tests. Sometimes people may even get into debt. The second type is the help avoidant type. So these people avoid seeking medical consultations and tests at all costs. This is usually because they're convinced that there is already something wrong with them and they really fear being given bad news. They may also fear having to undergo medical procedures and testing in hospital environments, but ultimately the fear is about being told that you have this horrible disease and that you now have to face the prospect of dying. If this is resonating with you, then hit the subscribe button. Number three, medical test results. If you are the help seeking type, you will have sought many consultations and had many medical investigations, maybe second, third or fourth opinions. Despite these tests being negative, confirming the absence of illness and disease, you remain excessively anxious and concerned that you do still have a life threatening condition or that you may develop one. The crucial thing here is that it's extremely difficult for you to accept the medical findings that you are safe and the anxiety just continues. Number four, physical sensations. You might have some sensations in your body. Some people do, some people don't. If you do, they may be mild or they may vary in intensity depending on how focused you become on them and how you interact with them. For example, if you repeatedly check them and monitor them, your experience of them can be exacerbated. This causes more anxiety. Anxiety itself can then increase the experience of these sensations. You may also be easily alarmed by physical sensations in your body. So this might be new sensations or something that feels unfamiliar and it immediately sparks your anxiety that this is another sign that there is something wrong with me. 
it's really hard, really difficult to be comfortable inside your own skin and your own body. Number five, your behavior. Your attention becomes narrowly focused on your bodily sensations. Your preoccupation with these leads to excessive health-related behaviors in a bid to get control over the situation. You might repeatedly check and monitor your body. You might physically examine the sensations in your body. You might touch, prod, poke. You might use medical devices or smartwatches to repeatedly check your vitals. The list goes on. You might also spend a lot of time seeking reassurance from family, friends, as well as medical professionals. You may also consult the internet and do lots of Googling about your sensations. And you may also use forums that are related to the diseases that you fear to find out more information about whether you have this disease or not. So those are behaviours that you do, but another important point to note is there can also be a lot of avoidance. So there may be many things that you avoid doing because of these fears. For example, some people avoid checking their body or avoid looking things up, but they may seek reassurance. So it really depends from person to person how the symptoms of health anxiety manifest. The great news is this is a treatable anxiety disorder and there's lots of things you can do to manage it. More on that in my other videos. If you need more information about anxiety, why not sign up to my newsletter, click the link below to get all my latest updates and tips. And be sure to check out the next video, how to stop health anxiety. Thank you.